how's it going guys welcome back to the series mad about python and this is the seventh video in this series and in this video we'll be continuing building radio button features using tkinter in python to learn how to use radio buttons i have made a video i'll be leaving the link in my description you can watch that video first and then come back here because this will be a continuation video okay so last video if you remember we used something known as uh, like we gave a variable and we declared it as a int var integer variable and in this video we'll be using something as string variable so string var great so I told you we'll be making a menu driven program which uh, has a real world application so why not use a product uh, catalog so we'll go ahead and make a catalog so let's go ahead and uh, create a python tuple which will have a list of products to choose from so we'll go ahead and make a product catalog by using a variable product you can use anything here you can give any names guys i'm just uh, taking this for reference you can use anything so you'll use product and uh, square brackets just extend it downwards such that we have space to type now we'll start with our lists now, th now this is a simple python tuple which will uh, have some values here i'll just uh, name the first thing as microsoft surface comma and then give it one more comma here separate it and then give the second name something like google pixel comma separate the values again comma third item will be asus rog separate this give a comma your fourth product should be macbook pro it's up to you guys you can name anything here and then the last product we can add is we just add two more products just add a hp home and x and then give the value here leave comma and your last product we can add is uh Lenovo uh, Legion and then give a comma separate it and here you don't have to add comma because you're closing it just bring you have your just bring it back right now okay make sure your square brackets are closed then we'll have a variable choice now choice will be declared as string variable this time so we go string var make sure this s is capital and v is capital string var and same way choice we can set this to a default value so choice dot set again you can skip the line number 19 if you are uh, okay with it so you go choice default value we are going to give as uh, microsoft surface great so this is done now in the last program if you remember we made uh, like five or six radio buttons by repeatedly giving the word radio button now let's uh, do something smart here we want to use a python concept known as a for loop a for loop we are going to use two parameters this time we'll use something as text and we'll uh, name the second part as mode so once you're using text and mode your text is nothing but by default these values now to use mode i'll just copy these values here so control c control v same thing for everything here oh shit here 
and you give it here just copy the same values for the mode and done so you have your list ready with the parameters text and mode we'll just uh, see how these two parameters will be used now for text mode inside the list here so we go in product as simple as that and then you create a radio button right here so you go radio button you want it inside widget root you want to give a text which will be nothing but equal to the text you can see here we have a variable right here text which is nothing but these values all these values simple right you want to give it as text done and then variable your variable is nothing but the choice the string where easy just copy this paste it here it's nothing but your choice and the value your value will be nothing but the mode you can give any name here guys but make sure your uh, list is mentioned here otherwise these values won't be taken so your value will nothing be it will be mode and then your last thing you want to pack this don't forget to pack it otherwise it will show exception error and last video you have learned something known as anchoring so a n c h o r anchor will shift everything to your left your right side extreme left extreme right so we'll just shift this to direction west make sure you check out the last video to understand how anchor works i'm just going to use west here and then uh okay so we're done with the for loop now we have to make those simple things like buttons and all so we'll just take the same thing we used in last program I'll just go and copy this and paste it here so you have a definition button which will take value value is nothing but these things your text will show the same thing value will return back to the screen using the label and your label is packed and same way we may created a submit button so we'll just create another button here and then pack it so last uh, program you have made this just paste it here you can use a different text this time use click me or submit or skip by now fun right and you use the same lambda function but uh, make sure you have mentioned the name correctly here the function name and you are using the function clicked and your function is clicked here so make sure these two are matching clicked is correct choice is correct and uh, yeah so that is it your almost done just close this program by doing root dot main loop close it let's go ahead and run this file wow you can see everything is anchored to your west side that is extreme left and you have all these options which you have given right here so when you click something like this you can see your output right here i go boss you can buy H hp google microsoft surface click that again omen easy